Hi everyone and welcome to Smack My Deck. Let's talk about the Asus ROG Ally. <laughs> now first of all, many of us thought this was an April Fool's prank because it was released on April the 1st or the news was released on April the 1st and it was called Ally, which almost sounds like a lie, like tell a lie. The Asus ROG Ally. Well, it turned out it wasn't. Doing a Google search just brings up lots and lots of results for it. Also, the big YouTubers, uh, Dave2D, and Linus Tech Tips have actually shown it, shown a video of it playing. They've they've shared their thoughts on it. So we've got a decent amount of information. They weren't allowed to share some information like the frames per second and some of the other stuff in there. Now, a lot of uh, websites now, when you're going onto the gaming press, they're like, Asus ROG Ally will blow away the Steam Deck. Here's why. And there's a lot of things saying a Steam Deck killer. You're getting this a lot, right? To start off with, this is not going to be a Steam Deck killer. From everything we've heard and what Asus have said, they want the pricing to be very, very competitive with the Steam Deck. But it's the higher version, higher end of the Steam Deck that, that they're going to be competing with. So the higher end of the Steam Deck will more likely be the bottom end of this version. Uh, so they're not necessarily going to go for the Steam Deck. What they are going for, though, is companies like One X Player, GPD and IR uh, the IR range, so the IR Neo stuff, One X Player, and the GPD stuff. Now, there's a lot of advantages to, uh, to this. Having a look at straight away, I can see like the D-pad. Now, the D-pad reminds me of an Xbox Series controller, which, when I first looked at it, didn't look that good. But when I played it, honestly, it felt really, really good. When I played it. It felt good. The worst thing about the Xbox controller was it was very, very clicky. I really hope this isn't clicky, uh, but if it is, I could live with it as long as the controller is good. The Steam Deck doesn't have a good D-pad. If you want to play a game like Street Fighter or you want to play something where there's a lot of motion movement required, the Steam Deck D-pad doesn't cut it. It's not a bad D-pad, but it's not a great D-pad. But given the fact most people game on analog these days, it's not a big issue for most, but if you play a lot of old stuff, the D-pad isn't great on the Steam Deck and a lot of other devices. GPD have a good D-pad, uh, as well as the Iron Neo. I've not tried an Iron Neo, but the D-pad, I've tried the D-pad like that before on a different device, and it's a good D-pad. One X player, their D-pad is, is just pony. It is no good whatsoever. But there are big advantages to this Asus. One of them, obviously the D-pad, then there's no crowdfunding. There's no crowdfunding where there's a chance you might get ripped off. You're going to buy it. When they release it, you're going to buy it. You're going to put your order in, you're going to get it. Again, for the Steam Deck, one thing uh, compared to the Steam Deck, one thing that I like is the aspect ratio of the screen. It's 16 by 9 and not 16 by 10. Most games, in fact, every modern game out there will work kind of default at 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Some games tailor for 16 by 10, but some you'll be playing it with black bars on top of your Steam Deck. So this is always the best choice because this is the industry standard. This is the standard, your, your standard living room TV, what you're doing your gaming on. This is the aspect ratio this TV has. The other things we know about it, Asus are saying it's twice as powerful as the Steam Deck, which is a welcome addition. When you look at what Dave2D and Linus are running, even though they're not showing frame rates, the games do look really, really good. And that's that's a welcome addition. Like I am going to pre-order this uh, straight away. They've also with Asus, I've heard some horror stories about their customer service, uh, customer service, but nowhere near as bad as these guys. One X player, there used to be a YouTuber around called MVA Gaming, I think. He kind of disappeared, but he put a video up where he opened up the unit and the components in there were used. They drilled through part of the motherboard. It was terrible. He later took down the video because one X player took notice of that video and they didn't want the bad press. So they resolved the issue with him, but they only resolved the issue with him because he was somewhat of a public figure within handheld PC hardware uh, on YouTube. So they resolved that he deleted the video, which I was kind of gutted about because it kind of shows what these companies do if they can get away with it. Now, I'm not saying big companies aren't as bad. Some of them are. It's just they, you, you, you kind of have a better customer service experience and better quality control on the products. And the other company out there is GPD. Their customer, look, I'm a long-term GPD customer from the days of the GPD Win, uh, the GPD Win 1. Uh, I also got the GPD XD, the XD Plus, then I got the Win 2. I skipped the Win 3, I went for the Win Max, then I went for the Win Max 2021 and the Win Max 2. I didn't get the Win Max 4. And the reason I didn't is because 
two of my devices had worms on there and and it's a fact I, I i don't care if you're gonna give me worms i gave them a chance once i was like okay cool i got rid of it i done my fresh install of windows and then my win max 2 came with a worm on it and this is what the asus is going to kill it's going to kill these companies it's going to kill one x player when i say kill may not necessarily wipe them off the market but it is definitely definitely gonna decrease their sales because what I think Asus are going for is they're going for a gap in the market where the Steam Deck, it has Steam OS, it's slightly different. So with the Steam Deck being on the market, we've still got we've still got all these other Windows handhelds and they are selling. So the Windows handhelds are selling, people are buying them. You've got multiple companies. You've got the One X Player, you've got GPD, you've got Iron Neo. All of them are selling Windows handhelds. So what's the difference? They're a little bit more powerful than the Steam Deck. They're using newer APUs. So it drives the price up so people still are paying higher prices like they're paying almost a thousand pounds which is double the price of a steam deck the top end steam deck was is five six nine i'm talking pounds here guys so do your local convert if i mention dollars i'll make sure i say dollars but it was five six nine recently steam deck had 10 percent off to celebrate their one year what's a bargain price but these things are still selling so this is where asus come in Asus have now realized that, okay, as well as having a Steam Deck, there's a market for a top-end Windows device. And they've probably looked at One X Player, GPD, and IR and said, we're going to take their market. And to be honest, they're probably going to be successful in doing it. Because if we've got, if we look at the top-end model here, let's forget about storage for a second and just look at the spec. I don't know uh, how many gigs of RAM the Asus has. Maybe I've missed that. Let me know in the comments below if you know. I'm hoping it's 32, but it might be 16, as 16 kind of seems to be the more kind of cost effective uh, ram but if this is coming out at 649 which we'll have a look at over here we'll have a look at that so here's here's a reddit post with some rumors on there now take this with a grain of salt but generally like i know i know rumors can't always be believed but all the rumors i come across about stuff coming out they end up being true enough of that let's have a look at this so Purposely missing Hall Effect thumbsticks and other features to match the 649. So 649 Steam Deck, uh, Steam Deck price. So that's the top end Steam Deck, not the bottom one. The bottom one is three ninety nine dollars, and there's two models, two colors, and they are five twelve six forty nine, one terabyte eight ninety nine. Now I will go for this one here because two hundred and fifty dollars for half a terabyte of extra storage doesn't prove value to me the values in this one for the steam deck i went for the top end one because i wanted the 512 12 and i also wanted the anti glare screen which to be honest is fantastic like i play in areas with lighting and any other device i play i can get reflections the steam deck just takes care of them and it does a great job doing it so this will be the one i get maybe i'll update the ssd myself but initially this is the one i'll go for it seems like a good price for what you're going to get you know 120 hertz a 1080p screen the thing sounds like a beast and i've been into handheld pc gaming for a long long time and over here we're looking at custom asus os is still being worked on can link steam epic origin and xbox game pass to the os and it will be able to sync your ach achievements uh, and screenshots etc to be honest i am this is something i'm not too fussed about a lot of people might like it to give it a console experience but i'm okay just using fresh windows i'm used to using it i can put the launchers on there and i can use it as my heart desires and here we go october release date microsoft to help promote game pass with this device this again sounds more feasible because i'm filming this on my asus laptop at the moment which is an asus zephyrus g14 it's the 2020 model so at some point i'm going to have to upgrade but for the stuff that i do it's still running fine and it, it's a great device now when i got this i got an offer for game pass kind of bundled in there so it goes to show that relationship should still continue again i don't know if that was from a windows offer or was it an asus offer it looked like an asus offer to me as, as part of the laptop but again you know we're going to have microsoft are going to go with that and the reason for that is asus employee aware of handheld secretly being worked on uh, no info besides that uh, by sony so uh, sony working on a secret handheld which is why they approached microsoft months ago due to competition coming soon besides valve so that's that's excellent i would love uh, another sony held handheld i love the psp and i love the vita absolutely brilliant again it supports je gpu this is something that dave 2d and liner showed supports vr not bothered about that for me these are handhelds i'm not bothered about 
the eGPU or the VR, but for someone that just wants a one PC solution, they've got a lot of storage on there, they can take the PC out and they can game at home on an eGPU, something that a lot of people are interested in me personally no big hiccup in design uh, gyro controls not functioning properly with windows I, i'm just one of those people i have never used gyro controls i turn them off i know they're good and they can be good i'm just an old school gamer i can't do it and at the bottom here ps believe me or not this is all i know and was able to play around with while asking questions Believe what you will of this. I'm kind of hyped about this. I hope it's true. I don't know whether to believe it or not, but if that is correct and, and the price is 512 and uh, and it's going to be sold for 649, I am sold. And one thing, okay, so you know where I said it was going to kill cells for one X player, GPD and Iron Neo? Well, it already killed a cell for Iron Neo. I was going to buy one of these Iron Neos because I have not had an Iron Neo device before. I have only had One X and One X. I never had many issues with it. I sold the device. I found it too uh, un, uh, heavy and ergonomic, uh, un, un -ergonomic. Uh, GPD, like I said, I've washed my hands with them. Too many viruses, too many quality control issues. Uh, I did have one issue with them, to be honest, which they did actually resolve. But I think I was quite vocal about it and it was quite a scene post. So they resolved it. But generally these two companies their customer service is way way below par and they ghost a lot of people and they mess a lot of people around and they've even come and laughed at people when they've asked about something they've literally come uh, maybe that's just some lost in translation between the Chinese and English language but they've got smileys where they're laughing at someone where they've had an issue which I thought was terrible because if you've paid close to a thousand dollars or around you know that price for a device and the company is laughing at you that to me just takes the mickey to put it politely but i was going to buy an iron neo I, I missed the early birds one they were really cheap and they would have been a good device to have they had like eight gig of ram a, a subpar processor in there but they were like 200 pounds but i guess that was that was probably there to get the hype going and get a few cheap ones on there but i i probably would have gone for and i was going to buy it. i was debating whether to buy it. so i definitely wanted the 6800 u but I wanted it with uh, 32 gigs of RAM. So I would have gone for, let's just keep going down. I would have gone for either this one with one terabyte of storage or possibly even just think, okay, let me buy this. But that's almost, <laughs> okay, that's like 150 more, 150 pounds more for a ter uh, an extra terabyte of storage. But I was debating between going, through, going, going for one of these two. But news of the Asus stopped me buying this. So this is a sale I have lost because I want a Windows handheld. I know I can put Windows on my Steam Deck, but I don't want to put Windows on it. I just like the Steam Deck for what it is. It has its limitations. I'm really annoyed I can't play uh, games with uh, easy anti-cheat on this. I can't play Halo 3 online, uh, which I which I was used to playing on like my GPD or the One X player devices. Uh, but yeah, they lost their sale. So everyone's saying that it's a Steam Deck killer. It's not going to be a Steam Deck killer. The Steam Deck has established itself on the market. It's doing well. And the Steam Deck 2 is going to come and just improve on that, uh, which whatever it might be, whether it's going to be in 2024, 2025, Steam Deck runs brilliantly. It's a brilliant device. It's cheap. Valve have their own ecosystem. So that's going to keep going. But these devices, guys, your days are definitely numbered. If they don't completely wipe you out, they're going to definitely, definitely put a big strain on your devices. The only one that I think may be okay is the GPD WinMax 2. And the reason for that is, is the WinMax range. You've got the controller built in, the analog sticks and everything. You've even got analog, uh, uh, analog triggers. But you've got a full key. Well, not a full keyboard. You've got a keyboard. And it's a very, very good keyboard, to be honest, as much as as much as like I, I, I put down GPD stuff. But that's because of their business practices, their lack of quality control and them just putting malicious malware on devices from as early as the win two, uh, which which just goes to show is like, can't you solve that problem? It's been going on for so many years. Whatever the, whatever the reason is, get rid of it. But it's nice that there's more competition on the market because now these guys will be forced to up their game or just die a slow and painful death but this device or these type of devices might do okay for people that want to game and want a machine to do their work on as well i i bought this one i got rid of it because for me i found having the steam deck for gaming and having the zephyrus g14 for productivity was a good match so i wanted to add a final thing in there that i forgot to do and i remembered it during editing <laughs> so it's a bit out of place here but one thing i really hope that asus rog ally has is what i have on the asus machines uh, i'm not the biggest fan of armory crate but i like one of the features on there and one of the features it has on there is this battery health 
charging feature now I like it because if you want to take it out with you, you hit the full capacity and it will charge it to 100%. Then you've got balance mode, which means if you're mainly playing it on mains, or if you're using it on mains, like I do my laptop, I leave it on 80%. Or you've got the maximum maximum lifespan mode, which keeps the battery at 60% and you can play it on mains. This is how I use my laptop. 90% of the time it is connected to mains, so I use it on 60%. Like if I'm going to take it out with me and I, I'm then going to change it to full capacity, charge it to 100% and then use Use it but this is generally the way that i use it now my handhelds i often use them plugged in mains because if i'm playing for a longer time i don't want to worry about battery running out and i don't want to worry about lowering the frame rate i want to play at 60 fps on the highest settings possible but that means the battery is going to last like an hour an hour and a half but if i run it on mains cool it runs i get the time and if i've got the option to keep the battery at 60 percent prolonging the life of the battery and getting me more use out of the machine without the battery like swelling up years later or just dying or malfunctioning where i have to replace it really hope asus put put that in there i don't see why they wouldn't put that in there because it honestly it is such a great feature okay so guys that really was it that was my thoughts on the asus ally asus rock ally i think it's going to be great i really hope the price point the starting price point of 649 dollars i guess my local equivalent will be the steam deck equivalent which is 569 pounds i hope it keeps that price uh, it looks really good 120 hertz 1080p 16 by 9 aspect ratio the joypad looks very very decent i really hope it's good i hope i can do fireballs on that and i hope someone tests that soon that i trust that knows their d-pads but either way these other companies are going to get a run for their money but guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did yeah why not subscribe to the channel like the video or if you really hated it then hit that dislike button uh, i'll see you guys around this is smack my deck out